All right, my friends, let me turn my windshield wipers off. It is in the 50s in Florida and it is pouring rain. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have gotten a little bored with thrifting. It's very, very repetitive. I've been going to the same stores. So I looked online on Craigslist last night and most of the yard sales said weather permitting and it is pouring rain. It is pouring rain. I don't know if you can see my back windshield back there, but there was a church sale an hour away from me in a town that I've never been thrifting in. I have been to this town for auctions, but I have not been to this town to thrift. So right now we are going to go into this church sale. I've found some amazing things at great prices at a church sale. I'm gonna do this just like a thrift box. This is all gonna be for you, so let's go see what we can find. All right, so I did find this sale on Craigslist and I was looking at these picture frames. I was really contemplating on the Disney one and I actually, you'll see here in a minute, did try to find it and I couldn't find any comps. So at $3, I did decide to leave that. But look here, back in the back, there is this Amish Acres. This is a tile trivet. Amish stuff does very, very well. I think that'll go for about $20. And I actually found comps of these mice prints at $48. So I will tell you guys what I decided to do. If it was under a dollar, I figured a dollar cost. I did spend about three hours here. You're not going to see that much footage. But so if it's under a dollar, we're going to figure a dollar. This is a gorgeous Cozumel, Mexico 3D picture frame. I think people will love that, that have been to vacation there. And that was a really good pickup. All of these prices were absolutely amazing. And there were just so, so many frames. Now here, I was looking at this tile trivet with the cat. And I'm glad I was because when I picked it up, look at what is actually underneath it. A really awesome like vintage Victorian floral little framed floral bouquet. That was $2, but I would price that at about $25 to $30. I would definitely use floral Victorian in the title. And then as I'm walking out, I'm looking at all the art. Most of it was priced a little bit higher, but I saw this Pokemon poster and I actually picked it up to check the date. It was only $2. And this is a 1995. So this is an original, like when Pokemon just came out poster. I think this will go for about $25. I am going to send that to you rolled up. I am not going to send it in the box though. So just beware of that. And then look at all of these linens. Absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately for me, they had them priced really they were priced good, but they were not priced low enough for resale. They were priced at $10 and $15. They're definitely, definitely worth it. There were some absolutely beautiful handmade pieces. This throw here was from Mexico. It was priced $5, but it didn't have a brand. It did just say made in Mexico. So I did decide to leave that because with the doubling, it would be 10. And then over here, tons and tons of linen so you know I gotta dig and the first thing I saw was this beautiful embroidered pillowcase for a dollar I think that'll go for about 20. They just had a ton of really really nice linens here which when you go to church sales is definitely something I would keep an eye out that and the vintage stuff so here this I think was a tablecloth and it wasn't overly impressive, so I did decide to leave that. Now, I did see this towel. It is K. It did have Kellogg. It was vintage, and I was kind of on the fence about it. It was only a dollar. I did actually end up looking up comps, and there's one listed for $10, none sold, so I'm actually glad that I passed that towel up. And here I was hoping this was a little like doilies, but it ended up, it looked like it was just a bunch of lace. But here 
these are pot rests. I believe they are silk with the crocheted borders. So I definitely picked those up. And you will be seeing all of this again at the end. When I do the recap and show you guys the boxes, that table runner was gorgeous. It was only 50 cents, which is absolutely amazing, amazing price. And I saw pillowcases across the side of the table. And these purple floral embroidered pillowcases were absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad I dug because they actually were priced as a set, but they were not together in the pile. So I did pay $2 for the set of those two pillowcases. And I was checking to see if there was any more embroidered. Now, I am going methodically through these aisles and I did go through them a second time. This is a vintage Denver Broncos hat. It was not priced, but I did end up paying a dollar for that, which was really good. They had quite a few pet items here as well. None of them were branded. I definitely do recommend looking over pet items if you see them when you're outsourcing. Now, these quilts are absolutely amazing, but they were priced too high for resale. If you had been looking for yourself, this one was only $30. They were absolutely gorgeous. I almost feel like they were actually made just for this sale. There were tons of them that looked like they were brand new. And then here I saw this dish. It was made in Japan, but I was just thinking as far as shipping for the reseller boxes, that would probably be pretty difficult. I did pick up some breakables here you are going to see, but I did leave that dish behind. Now here I saw these statues this one was I believe actually like a handmade one and then there were also these barrettes so the tortoise one was priced at 50 cents and it's really hard to see here but this one was made in France and actually now that I'm thinking of it I did not find that in my box so I think somehow I did not get my barrette which sucks and I'm not going to be able to go back so I found it but it was not in the box I emptied everything out of the box this evening. If you find barrettes like that, though, I will tell you that comped out at about $15. Now, there were a lot of purses here. Unfortunately, I did not find any that were name brand. I was looking on the insides here to see if they might have been marked on the inside, but they were not, and most of them were actually priced at 3 and $4, which was just a little bit too much for being able to make a profit for resale and I do typically look at those like tapestry bags some of those are good but I did not find any now these are photo books and they were all empty I was hoping maybe there were some pictures in them but there were not now these are absolutely cute. I will let you guys know I did keep these. I think I'm going to give them to my niece. It's a little piggy holder with brand new sunglasses. They were only a quarter and I think they will make a good Christmas gift. I am again drooling over all of the quilts. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to get some quilts that are worth it as far as being able to make a profit. And I, I probably should try and find one for my bed as well. Now, this was a vintage bedspread. It looked like it was quilted, but it actually was not. So I did decide to leave that. And then I saw this really cute straws box. I tried to find comps. I couldn't find any. But for a dollar, that was handmade. I think that was really, really cute. I think you can probably get about 15 to 20 for that one. And you can see here they had a ton, a ton of breakables. I was looking at the bells, but bells are kind of like baskets. Most of them are a dime a dozen. You might find a few that are worth something, but the majority are not going to be. So I did not pick up any bells that day. Now, I was on the fence about this little rabbit. I, I'm not sure what he was for. And he was priced at $3. He was definitely vintage. Really, really cute. And I think maybe a key holder or something like that. If you guys know what it's for, definitely let me know down in the comments. But I did decide to leave him. And then down here, I saw this silver plate bowl. It's like a compote. That was Oneida, and I don't feel like it would have sold for very much. But these vintage coasters were gorgeous, and they're 
actually in a holder. I'm not sure if it's Bakelite or plastic, but it has the hibiscus on the bottom and the whole set was only a dollar. I feel like those will go for about 25 to 30. So that was a great pickup as well. Now this mom plaque was only a quarter and with Christmas coming up that says Myrtle Beach it's got the shells it's handmade and wood lacquer and I think that would make a great gift and how cute are these vintage owls and they were only a quarter as well so I did get them too. Now I had to make multiple trips to drop things off and I collected a big box. I saw this Starbucks cup and it was marked $25. Not sure if they meant 25 cents but I decided I wasn't going to ask and it was actually all scratched up and not in the best condition anyways. So we decided to leave that there. And there was so, so much stuff here. Now this cute little Nova Scotia trinket box was only a dollar. So I did grab that as well. Again, this is going to be a two part video. Now guys, this is Calico. Keep your eye out for that. Pieces from that set sell for about $80 to $100, the blue and white floral. And that one, unfortunately, was broken and I think still priced at 5 or 10 But definitely watch out for those. And down here, this looked like Ray Dunn, but it was just like a little hand-stamped one. So I did decide to leave that. Now, these candles actually only comp out at about seven dollars so i am glad i left those those are something if you found like two boxes for a dollar it might be okay because you might be able to get like 10 to 12 and those were party light pumpkins i believe i've looked those up before and they only go for about 15 so i did decide to leave those i was hoping to find some good christmas stuff here but unfortunately i didn't see much now they had all of this jewelry and I saw this necklace. It was really pretty. There was a piece missing there on the bottom left. It was handmade. It was absolutely gorgeous. But I did decide to leave it. And I'm not a big earring person. So I did decide to leave those as well. Now I saw this vintage tie clip. It was Coronado. I couldn't find any comps. It was only a dollar. But I did decide to leave that there. And I was looking at the brooches to see if any of them were branded but none of them were marked so i did decide to leave those there now they were pointing out to me this brooch over here on the side which actually um i was telling her that that was hematite the brooch is like a lucite and you'll see it here in a second it is a handcrafted one it was really really pretty but it had the magnetic clasp so I decided to leave that so she was showing me it here and it was it was absolutely gorgeous I think it was three dollars though and it was definitely worth it but I didn't feel like doubling it would be very very profitable for you guys that was a vintage jewelry box definitely keep your eye out for those it was not marked on the bottom when I looked and these I probably should have got. I comped them after. I couldn't find the exact ones. They're a glimmer foil for stationery. And they probably were worth about five to seven each. And there were three of them for 50 cents. So I should have picked those up. And always watching these videos back, I find stuff that I should have picked up and didn't. Now, here we are getting into some of the electronics. And... I actually saw a ninja there and that is what I'm looking at now and I've been looking at one I probably should have gotten that for myself but I did not and I decided to look it up it was priced at 35 so I put it in the model number on eBay we are looking at the solds and just the parts were selling for 30 and 40 the whole set was selling for about 100 so that was a really good buy but I did not get it I am horrible as far as actually picking stuff up for me so we decided to leave that there and down here there were a couple of gps's i picked this garmin up but on the back you can see there's a holder that goes into that and that was missing so it was it's a suction cup for the windshield so i did decide to leave that but down here back in the back i saw this radio shack 
weather radio. And I actually just listed one of these myself for my death pile. And no, they can be valuable. It should be about $25 to $30. And it was only priced at two. So I did decide to pick that one up. And all of the cords were kind of entangled here. So I had to <laughs> pull it out to get to the cord. But definitely look up the model number, whoever gets this box, because it could be worth a little bit more. Some of them are a little bit more spendy. And then I saw these rollerball mouses. They were definitely faded. Those of you that know about electronics, let me know if those would have been a good pickup. I think they had a lot of wear to them, though, so that is why I did decide to pass on them. And they had quite a bit of lighting here. This camera was actually only a dollar. I believe it was a camera or a slide. So I did decide to look that up since it was only a dollar. But you can see here they only sell for about 15 and for the size and how difficult shipping would be. I don't think that that would be worth it. And then down here on the end, there was a bunch of baby stuff, which obviously I'm not going to ship big stuff, but there was this Graco bassinet sheet. These actually have a good sell through rate. This one has little elephants on it for 50 cents. They sell for about seven to eight dollars plus shipping. And here are your dime a dozen baskets. And I did not see anything that really stood out to me in the baskets. I am going to take a look from the other side as well. And here, this crocheted pot holder down on the bottom with the Christmas colors really stood out to me. It was only a quarter, so I did pick that up as well. I should have brought my Ikea bag in. I probably would have filled it, I think, three times for the amount of stuff I got. I got quite a bit. Now, this is a little, like, trinket box that is hinged, and I couldn't find a price on it, so I was trying not to <laughs> pick stuff up without prices. I probably could have. They were pricing everything very reasonably there. And then this little wooden apple slotted pot holder, that was very, very cute, very vintage, and it was only 50 cents, so I did pick that up. Now, this box was $2, and it had quite a bit of superficial scratches, so I did decide to leave that one, and then that other trinket box with, like, the snow baby on it was actually really dirty, and I'm not sure how it would come clean. I saw this bag of candles. They were only $0.25, cents, and there are actually quite a few Yankee Candle tarts in there, and I think those go for, like, 3 to 5 each, so you should be able to lock them up and make about 15 to 20 I wanted to show you guys that Bragg Polar Care because... That is an item that will get you Vero'd and get you suspended off eBay. Do not sell those medical ice coolers. I have gotten a warning for them. I did not get kicked off, but I got a warning. Now, this yellow diamond shape glass bowl. It actually almost looks like an ashtray. That was only a dollar, so I picked that up as well. And I did try and adjust the color some on the video. So if it looks a little weird, that's why. But it was pretty dark and light fluorescence in this area. Now these mugs, I will tell you guys, I am going to keep. I don't know if I'll keep them for myself or I'll list them, but they were volcano pottery from Hawaii and they had dragons and I absolutely love them. So I did set those to the side. Now with the breakable stuff, I need to see a pretty significant profit if I'm going to pick it up. I wanted to show you guys this because one of my friends actually used to make these. So it's almost like a little mini bird bath slash bird feeder. It was only a dollar. It was really cute. But I do not have anywhere that I would want to display that. So I did leave that. And this dresser tray, if the handles had not been broken off, I definitely would have picked it up. It was porcelain. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably worth $50 if the handles weren't broke. And now these amber glass candle holders, they were really, really nice. They have the diamond pattern. And so I did pick those up. Again, you are going to see all of this. It's kind of fast here because I picked a lot up. So the video will be in two parts and you will see a haul at the end. Now these are exactly like the amber, but they are a blue but I believe they had the set priced at either two or three and I felt like it was a little too much. 
and I was checking out the candle collection hoping we might find like some Yankee candles or something but we didn't and I will tell you guys those Tel Aviv Sabbath candles I did look those up and there are none sold but there are a lot listed for about $20 so without seeing solds I did decide to leave them there and then we have tons and tons of coffee mugs now this was the National Cowboy Museum I could not find any comps on that so I did decide to leave that one there and the San Diego one was really generic I really liked these but I couldn't I think they were actually handmade pottery and I did actually pick up one and it was this one this is a California it's almost like an onion soup it's a mug there I'm sure there's another name you guys can let me know but I definitely picked that one up because it was definitely vintage and just looked really cool now over here I saw these coasters absolutely gorgeous keep an eye out these are thirsty stone and some of them sell for 40 to 50 dollars and unfortunately something happened to them and i will let you guys know at the end what happened and show you now this red wear bowl was really nice but at three dollars it was just a little too high with having to double it so i did decide to leave that there but this gorgeous Tonala vase was only two dollars and it has like the village i actually have another one just like that listed and for only two dollars i think that was an absolutely great buy i didn't pick the wood vase up i actually have a few wood vase listed and they have not sold yet so i didn't want to pick up something for you guys that wouldn't sell but i sell delft blue really fast typically most on facebook marketplace and that little vase was only a dollar so I definitely picked that one up. Now, looking at the shoes, unfortunately, there were no good name brands on the shoes. And then I looked at the office stuff as well. Now, this pillow looked like it was quilted, but it was actually just a square and they had sewn around the lines. It was not actually quilted. So I did decide to pass on that. These were really cute, but I did not get them. They were like, the plastic with the yarn little notebooks and I was looking at all of the different purses but again not very many great name brands they had some awesome vases here but at ten dollars that was just a little too high as far as doubling and being able to resell so I did leave that as well and those big vases would be really hard to ship in the reseller boxes Now, down here, somebody had made these again. If you see right in the front center there, this, it was almost like a fairy lamp that they handmade. Absolutely gorgeous. And they were really cheap, but I had nowhere to put them. Now, this is Fiesta Tiles. This is another that I comped out and it prices out really, not really high, but about $25 to $30 for a tile trivet. It only costs 50 cents. So that was a great pickup there. Now here they had a bunch of fabric. And if you guys see something, let me know because I did not pick anything up out of here. I was just kind of browsing to see what I saw, but I did not see anything that really caught my eye. And now we are going to go out because they have toys and DVDs and games outside. First, I had to look. There was awesome fabric, and I was hoping it was like a tablecloth or something, but these were actually all little fabric scraps. I was hoping that they were like a scarf or a tablecloth, but they were not. Now, here, this little Jordash tapestry bag some of these can do okay this one was five dollars though and that was i think it would sell for about 15 to 20 if you guys see them cheap while you're outsourcing and everything was getting rained on out here as well so we're going to go in here and start looking at the dvds and books and see if we can find any games out here now i did see this farmer's almanac cookbook up on the top shelf and I decided that I would comp it out and see if I could find anything. I don't know if there's any real value to the Old Farmer's Almanacs, but I pulled the cookbook down 
and went ahead and looked up some comps on eBay. It did say it was the first one, so I was thinking it might be worth something, but when I looked it up, unfortunately, it was not worth very much, and you'll see here in a second, I want to say they were like five to six dollars. So that's another thing where if you get it for a quarter, it depends on if you want to spend the time to list it and sell for five or six. For me, if it's something I really like, I will, but if it's not, I tend to leave it there. So, so here you will see they are like four fifty with free shipping and media mail shipping is about three. So you're probably making not even 50 cents. So I decided to leave them there. Now I did see these Tybo VHSs and I could have picked them up. Those sell for about 12 and with the VHSs, I typically am just looking to see if I can find any that are sealed and I did not see any here that were sealed that day and yeah so I didn't end up picking you can see I did pick up a few to scan but I didn't end up picking any up we are going to continue this video tomorrow let's take a look at what I got all right so here is what I got from that half of the video there is going to be a part two tomorrow this is all from part one I will give you a sneak peek this is all from tomorrow and these are all that I got for free that I let you guys know I am keeping but there are just look at these all in the free box but you'll see that part tomorrow but I'll show you more of those tomorrow that was a little sneak peek so first up this half is going to be here over it includes this vintage cross stitch and guys, what I did, I am figuring a dollar for cost for the things that were under a dollar. I spent a lot of time there looking through. I think it ended up being about three hours. So all of the stuff that was under a dollar, I rounded up to a dollar. So I got this gorgeous Tanala vase. It is signed and really cool for $2. I also got this weather alert radio for $2. This looks like 25 to 30 easy. I got this bag of candles for 25 cents. There are a bunch of Yankee candle in there. These, and it sucks. The ladies broke the top one, so there are still two good. I paid $2. It looks like these coasters sell for $30 to $40 for sets of four. So I'm thinking this set will be at least $20. There are two, and they're not broken. Look at this cute little vintage owl plaque. Absolutely gorgeous. This Nova Scotia trinket box. Cozumel, Mexico picture frame. Gorgeous pillowcase. This is a table runner. These are big money too, like $25 to $40. This was only $0.50 cents and it is Fiesta Tiles. This one has a copyright of 1983. These look like they go for big money. These two like doily or pot holders. These two mouse prints, I only paid a quarter each. There are some listed two for $50. So that's some good money as well. And then this cool straws holder, Denver Broncos vintage hat. So this half is going to be, I figured a cost of $18. It's going to be $36 plus 15 and shipping so it's going to be a total of $51 for this half and then over here I got this really nice pot holder with Christmas colors a set of two crocheted or embroidered I didn't mean crocheted embroidered pillowcases vintage these two amber candle holders the pokemon posters from 1995 should sell for at least 20 i'm going to take it out of the frame and roll it up to send it to you i'm not gonna send it framed this amish acres for a quarter i think will go for about 20 dollars for this tile trivet and then this mom sign this is beautiful with the shells it does say myrtle beach for a quarter guys a quarter and then these are awesome vintage coasters there's the angelfish the bird of paradise dolphins and the hibiscus only a dollar for the set i almost feel like this is a bakelite um holder with the hibiscus and then the wood apple child trivet this delf blue vase 
the Graco sheet sell for about $8. And then there is this beautiful, I believe this is another pillowcase and this yellow glass dish and the California mug. So this half from here over is going to be $30. I figured a cost of 15 plus 15. So this half is going to be $45. And again, all of this was found in tomorrow's half of the video, as well as these amazing free, some little statues. That's just a sneak peek. You will see the rest of this tomorrow. So good luck and congrats to whoever got these two boxes. Thanks for watching guys. The second half of the church video will be up tomorrow evening.